Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We need a worker-focused trade policy, not a corporate price-centered one. And we need to take every step necessary to achieve balanced trade and eliminate the trade deficits that are bleeding our economy to death. We should use tariffs strategically to stop unfair trade in our market and to ensure the elimination of trade deficits. We've been running deficits of hundreds of billions of dollars year in and year out for decades. These trillions of dollars come back in the form of foreigners owning, owning American assets permanently. The United States' net international investment is an astonishing negative $16 trillion. Foreigners own $16 trillion more here than we do around the world. Foreigners, including China, own these assets and the future income from these assets. China has engaged in economic aggression against the United States for years. It has a mercantilist policy designed to build its economy at the expense of others, including ours, using a largely closed market and massive subsidies. It has stolen our technology, manipulated its currency, infiltrated our infrastructure, hacked our businesses and personal databases, engaged in cyber attacks on our private and governmental systems, undertaken espionage against our businesses and our government. China accounts for 80% of all counterfeits coming into America, and their IP theft alone has been estimated to cost us $300 billion annually. In short, has conducted, China has conducted economic warfare on us and the West, and has done it for decades, and we are losing because of Biden's trade policies. As a result of our own foolish trade policies of the past, we have lost millions of jobs and much of our technology leadership and have transferred trillions of dollars to China. These huge annual trade deficits have built their military and developed their industry and technology at our expense. Their economy has grown from about 1.2 trillion in 2000, when ours was 10 trillion, to about 16 trillion now, when ours is about 22 trillion. In this period, our cumulative trade deficits and goods with them has amounted to more than six trillion dollars. The United States has not faced a foe with economic power this close to our own in over 130 years. Our trade and economic integration must be balanced and on terms that help America and our workers, not China. We should not link our technology sectors with China, and we should have no trade or industrial cooperation in the security or joint use technology sectors, period. We need to limit Chinese investment in the U.S. economy and to regulate outward investment to China. We should put tariffs on all products imported from China until we achieve balanced trade, and we must insist that they buy our products if they want access to our markets. In the remaining time I have, Mr. Greer, if there's anything that I stated that you would like to expand upon, I will yield my remainder time to you. Uh, certainly, I, I'm happy to do that. Uh, and I think that your policy prescriptions are things that we need to strongly consider. Um, and I, you know, coupled with, with Dr. Murphy's comments, policy prescriptions for dealing with China depend on what you think about the threat. So, so if, if our premise is China is a threat, they're a generational challenge. We think that they are preparing for uh, military conflict with their neighbors or, or, heaven forbid, even us. If that's the case, then, then we need to be thinking about our trade relationship in a way that strengthens our manufacturing and defense industrial base, maybe at, at, at almost any cost. If you think that that threat is overblown or you think that people are being alarmist, then your ideas on what the policy prescriptions are going to be will be different. So I think we need to have a, have a conversation about that. I fall in the first camp that I'm, I'm, I'm concerned that we're on a knife edge right now and that we need to make sure our trade policy reflects that. But I think we need to talk to China. I think we need to be clear with them. I think we need to set ground rules. I think we need to do enforcement so that we can avoid that kind of situation, that we can have a strong base. The strongest thing we can do for our allies is have a strong industrial base here in the United States and be the arsenal of democracy. We can't do that if we're sending our manufacturing overseas. Agree with you 100%, and I think COVID taught us that when we were struggling to get products in from all over the world to uh, solve some of those industrial problems. And uh, it's time, we're, we're in an economic war with China and we are losing, and we have been losing, and it's time for us to change the trade policy to an America first agenda to focus on America products and ensure that we're focusing on the safety and security of the American people first and China last. Thank you for your time, I yield back. Thank you.